Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the entire Natasha Denona My Dream collection. I have everything here, the palette, I have the Chic palette, and all three of the lip products. I am excited, it's the understatement of the year. Ever since I saw this collection, I feel virtually, because I didn't have it yet, in love with it. And I cannot wait to show you swatches, I can't wait to play, I can't wait to compare to previous palettes, etc. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to please give this one a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe before you leave and let's just go ahead and get started. Let me start by showing you all of the items in the collection. The exterior packaging of the palette is very similar to the inside of it. It's got this matted new tone with some black paint splashes. Extremely classy yet artistic looking in my opinion. Once you open the palette, you get to see the richness of this color story. It's got a really nice amount of like neutral to warm shades, I would say. There are a few cool tones in there. It's really balanced. And I also really love that it has really nice light transition colors, but it also comes with really rich smoky shades that we can play with. Moving on to the Chic Trio, the exterior packaging of this one is very similar to that of the palette. And once you open it, there is two highlighters, a cream and a powder highlighter, and also a cream blush. I love the cream blush color. It is this really nice neutral shade that I'm sure it's going to be beautiful on a ton of different skin tones. I personally cannot wait to try it. The last three products are all lip products. There is a lip liner, a lipstick, and a gloss. I personally love the formula of all three. The Natasha Denona lip liners specifically are my favorite formula of lip liners ever. There is no beating this one. And I do already have the Natasha lip liner as part of my collection. Although I do want to do side-by-side -side comparisons to make sure that it is the exact same. I'm obsessed with the packaging of this lipstick, although I do like the packaging of like everything in the collection and once you open it this Natasha color is this really nice mid-tone neutral rose nude color that I think I'm really going to love. The last product is the Natasha lip gloss and I love Natasha Denona's lip gloss formula. It's not the longest lasting but it does last for quite a few hours and I just love how nice and balmy it feels. By the way, if you're interested in adding any of these items to your personal collection, I have listed them and linked them down in the description box of this video. So please shop my links. When you shop my links, you help my channel. Let's move on to some swatches because I cannot wait. I have been waiting for hours. I have construction workers at my house because my kitchen needed a facelift and they just left. It's 8.44. They did a lot today, which I'm very happy about because I cannot wait for that kitchen to be finished. But the day that my dream collection from Natasha Denona arrives and I have been waiting to film with it, they stayed till almost nine o'clock. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on with the swatches. Oh, take one last look at this palette. It is so stinking stunning. I feel like usually, by the way, palettes have the darkest shades on like this side of the palette right here. And this one, the first color is black. <laughs> one more thing to mention while I grab these swatches is that it's called My Dream Collection because this is like Natasha Denona's ultimate palette. She played with textures, with formulas, with different shades. And I immediately fell in love with this one the moment I saw it. I just love these types of shades. And two of the shades in the palette are repeat shades from previous palettes. One of them being Blackest Black right here, which is going to be our first swatch. Take a look right there. This matte shade right here is a nice creamy matte formula. Then moving on to the second color, Aspiration. Also one of Natasha's creamy mattes. 
then the color serenity i was watching morgan turner's video because she uploaded it a few hours ago and i just could not help myself and she was saying that the second shade that might be a repeat shade is the shade serenity right here which is in one of the like big super expensive natasha denona palettes that she first came out with um i don't own that palette so i also don't have any way of proving it but serenity is supposed to be in one of her previous palettes. Then the fourth shade right here is the shade Carpe Diem, okay? Moving on to the last shade in the first row, it is the color Babies, which is a really stunning metallic finish shade. And then starting on row number two, the first color is a cream color and it is called Instinct. This one is a really beautiful pigmented reddish type of burgundy shade and then the second shade in that row is the color thrill which i love because it's a really perfect color to put in the inner corner of the eyes and I'm so glad that she added it to this palette because not all of Natasha Denona palettes have light enough shades to be used in the inner corner all the times and I always complain about it. So I'm glad that we have this really pretty, very light shade that is going to be a great inner corner color. <laughs> Next we have the color Unity, which is a creamy matte, peachy shade, the color Risk which is a really pretty dark red shimmer. And then Invention, which just as I expected, has a ton of shine to it, which I really love. Moving on to the last row, we have the color Vision, which is a multi-chromatic shade. As you can see, it's got purpley pink and green shifts to it. Then we have the color Edgy, which is one of her... Oh, I swatched the wrong one. I'm sorry. This one is Spontaneous right here, which is another shade that is perfect for the inner corner of the eye. Really nice and shiny. I'm loving the way this one's looking. And then the one I skipped over, which is the color Edgy right here, which is another one of Natasha's cream shades. The last two colors are Nurture and Familia right here, which are both creamy matte shades really nice and smooth and those two complete the color story so take a look at all of the swatches right here all of them seem very pigmented and very smooth i don't think i'll have an issue with any one of the shades in this palette i am again obsessed with the color story she picked it just has the perfect amount of neutral and bold that i like it has some nice shimmers some deep mattes really good transition colors etc etc also i really love that natasha made this palette in the midi size it is my favorite type of natasha denona palette size you get 15 shades with natasha denona's amazing formula for 65 dollars and this palette is now available at sephora and beautylish i am leaving you both links down below Let's move on to swatching the Chic Trio right here. I have actually really loved when she's released cream blushes like this one in the past, so I'm hoping that I'll also like this one. And I actually feel like one of the ones I really like is a very similar color, so I'm interested in comparing that at the end of the video. Anyways, let's go for the swatches. Even though this is a cream blush, it doesn't really feel like a cream blush. It has this really interesting cream to powder formula that even if you have oily skin, I feel like you will be able to wear it really easily. The swatch of the cream highlighter seems very sheer. Take a look. This is the cream highlighter here in the middle. And let's go for the swatches. Here's that cream to powder blush that I was telling you about. Here is the cream highlighter. I love, actually, the way that looks. It's really nice and subtle. And then this is the powder highlighter right down here. No complaints on my part. When I first saw this palette, I didn't know that the highlighter in the center was a cream formula. And I was wondering why two highlighters in one palette. But now that I know the texture of them both, it kind of makes sense because they're pretty different in texture for sure. I don't think she's ever done a format quite like this one for a chic palette and this one retails for 48. Lastly, let me go ahead and swatch the lip products, the lipstick, 
and here is the gloss. All three of them really beautiful, neutral rose, nude shades, a perfect match for the blush for sure, and also a perfect match for the color story of the eyeshadow palettes. I already know that you guys want a five looks one palette with this palette and I will of course work on that for you. So for today's video I'm going to try and use as many shades as I possibly can but I'm only going to be doing one look because it is so late and I definitely want to get this video up as soon as possible so that you can see my first impression and whether or not I think this palette is worth it, comparisons, etc. So one look today, it might be a little crazy because I'm going to try and use a lot of the shades, so we'll see. <laughs> first things first, my reference number 15 brush in the color Unity right here. Or maybe I'll do two looks. You know what? I'll do two looks, one on each eye. <laughs> so I'm going to back and forth blend that color Unity on my crease. I haven't reached for one of my Natasha Denona palettes in a while. And it always surprises me how amazing her mattes are. That blended like an absolute dream. With the refer number one, I'm going into the color Carpe Diem right here. And I'm going to intensify the outer V of the eye with it. Loving the way that shade blended. I'm also going to add it to the inner. Oh, I switched it. Oh, God. It's okay. I wanted to go for this one too. I switched to the shade Familia. <laughs> which I wasn't intending to put on the inner part of the crease, but there it is. <laughs> so I did want to use this shade though to intensify everything, so it's fine. <laughs> so here's Familia on the inner part of my crease, and it just made everything a little bit darker. Still has that really nice warm color story to it. So I'm of course going to grab that same shade Familia and put it on the outer corner of my eye as well. Back with the refer number 15, I'm going to blend out any edges. For the center of my eyelid, I want to grab the color Babies right here, and I'm going to use it with my finger right here in the center. Woo, nice and shiny. Loving that. This shimmer shade feels like a cream, and I'm going back with the refer number 28 just to perfect my edges a little bit. And with that same brush, I'm going to use the color Risk right here and put it in between the mattes and the shimmer. This is going to give me a little bit more contrast and it's going to make the transitions a little bit smoother. I got a teeny tiny bit of fallout right here, but nothing to worry about. And I'm going to just wipe it off with a fluffy brush. Just take a look at that combination of colors real quick because I think I want to make things pop a little more. So I'm going to grab the color Invention with my finger. This is a really nice fiery shade. And I'm just going to pat it over the center of my eyelid to make things a little bit more colorful, I guess. It was looking a bit monochromatic. <laughs> I like this better. The center of the eye stands out a little bit more. For the under eye, I'm going to grab the color Aspiration with my refer number 3 and I'm going to add it to the outer third of my under eye just for a bit more smokiness down here. With the refer number 13, the color Carpe Diem and I'm going to smoke out my under eye all throughout. And for the inner corner, I want to grab the color Thrill which is like a dual chrome, really nice light shimmer and I'm going to pop it right here on the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to add a little bit of that one in the center as well. And this right here is my first look with this Natasha Denona palette. Absolutely love it and everything performed. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. Everything performed amazingly. I don't really have any complaints. The little bit of fallout was probably my fault and it wasn't even bothersome. I was able to wipe it off right away because it was like a couple of little crumbles. It wasn't like a lot of powder all over the under eye area, if that makes sense. I'm going to use a warm eyeliner in the waterline of my eye right here. This one is from Glossier in the shade Kiln. And before, I do, and before I do any mascara or lashes or anything like that, let's just go ahead and move on to look number two. 
For the first one, I pretty much stuck to like the right side of the palette. So for this one, we are going to go in with the burgundies and the deep shades right here. And this multi-chrome, of course, I can't wait. I also can't wait to keep playing with this palette and to film my five looks, one palette with it. So if you want to be around for that, don't leave without subscribing. I'm going to start this look with the color Nurture, because I don't think I've used this one yet. And this is going to be my transition shade for look number two. I'm using my refer number 15 brush once again, which I cleaned in between looks. Okay. All right, I fixed my light and I'm using the color Nurture all over the crease right here. This is a really nice cool tone nudie shade. And I'm loving the way it's blending out. It's a nice transition shade and you can also kind of deepen up things with it a little bit. I like it. Time to go in with one of these cream shades. This is the shade Instinct. I'm using a refer number one brush to blend it and I'm going to do the outer V of my eye. These cream formulas from Natasha Denona are not everyone's favorite, but I think she's perfected them throughout the years and I honestly don't really have any issues using them. I love that they pack a punch, they give a lot of pigment and they're a cream so you don't really have any fallout from them, which is great. Just take a look at how that blended. That looks fantastic. I love it. I'm going in with the same brush um, into the color Edgy, which is going to be like a darker, more cool tone version of what we just used. And I'm going to tap it right on the outer corner of my eye to deepen things up a little bit and blend it into the previous shade ever so slightly. Take a look at how that turned out. I love the blend back there. And I think I wanna make it even more intense, so I'm going to add black to my outer V as well, just to deepen it up all the way. <laughs> so black is black, and I'm using my refer number 14 brush, and I'm blending the black mattes into the rest of the shades. I think I got maybe a little carried away with it. I meant to use less black, but here we are. And it's looking good anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Time for the multi-chrome shade down here. And with my finger, I'm just going to pat it on my eyelid from the inner part of the eyelid till it meets with the black back here. With the reference number 26, I'm going to grab the color Spontaneous and I'm going to place it on the inner corner and blend it in ever so slightly or a lot. I'm blending it in halfway <laughs> through the crease. For underneath the eye, I'm going to start with blackest black on a refer number three and blend it on the outer third of my under eye. Then with a refer number 13 and the color instinct, I'm going to smoke out that black shade all the way to the tear duct area. Fabulous, I love the way that looks. And believe it or not, I just went back to check. I think I've used pretty much every single shade in this palette except for the color Serenity. So I feel good about me having checked on everyone's formulation between using almost all of the shades on my eyes and the swatches. Let me do a waterline color for this one. Oh, this one is perfect. This is an Isom eyeliner in the shade Garnet or Fire. Fire Garnet. It's perfect for this eye look. So here is look number two finished. And I'm back with mascara and lashes on. Take a look right here at looks one and two. I really like the way both of these turned out and I cannot wait to try this cheek palette. So let's go ahead and get to it. First things first, I'm going to apply the creamy matte blush with a sponge. I'm just going to get the side of the sponge and dip it in there. I think I grabbed a lot, so... Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to tap it on my cheekbone. Love the way that looks. And this is going to match both eye looks because it is a really balanced, really neutral, rosy blush just like I thought, it is a perfect color. So let's go ahead and move on to a highlighter. I think the cream highlighter, I'll apply it with the sponge as well. So I'm just going to get another 
clean side of my sponge and get into here and then very carefully I'm going to pinch it and blend that was subtle maybe with the finger is better oh yeah this is definitely a highlighter to apply with your finger rather than a sponge for sure and it looks really nice and natural nothing too over the top and it's not enhancing my texture much or anything I think I like this cream highlighter. It's kind of a traditional color, nothing that we haven't seen before, but I do think it looks very flattering. And since it's kind of clearish, I think it's going to work on a lot of different complexions. Moving on to the powder highlighter, I'm going to apply it with a BK Beauty 201 brush. I just wanted something that wasn't too big to apply the powder highlighter with. And I'm going to blended right up here also on the more subtle side when it comes to highlighters also a color that we've seen before but it looks really nice and flattering and i don't think it's enhancing my texture much let me check with a mirror no it looks really really beautiful and very natural looking so i like it I don't think that there's anything overly spectacular about this chic palette right here, but it is very functional and I do think that these blushes are going to be flattering on a lot of different complexions. Time to try the lip products. This is the Natasha Lip Liner. As I said at the beginning of the video, Natasha has my favorite lip liner formula. It just glides so easily. It is so pigmented, so blendable, yet it stays on for so long. I love it. And let's just go ahead and get this comparison out of the way. Here's the Natasha lip liner from the My Dream collection. And here is the Natasha lip liner from the I Need a Nude lip liner collection. I think they look virtually the same, but if I'm being overly picky, the I Need a Nude one is a teeny tiny bit more cool tone. And the one from the My Dream collection is slightly, just slightly, peachier, a little bit less nude, but the difference is barely there to be honest. They look, um, I, you can see it. You can see that this one's a little bit less cool tone than this one, but barely. <laughs> so that is definitely interesting. I really wasn't expecting there to be any difference at all, but there is a slight difference in undertone. I wish I had the Natasha lipstick to do the same comparison, but unfortunately I don't. Oh, I love this color. I mean, I knew I would, but wow. It is so pretty. And let's finish it up with some gloss. Take a look right here at everything fully applied. I am obsessed. I've been excited about this collection, but like it met all of my expectations, which I'm very excited about. I love both of the eye looks that I came up with today. I can't wait to continue to play with this palette. I feel like I stayed warm versus more mauve cool tone right here. But I can't wait to keep playing with the palette and like combine all of the shades in a five looks one palette video. The highlighters love. I think I might like the cream one better than the powder one because it just looks very ethereal, very like, oh, is that my skin? Is that like, am I sweating in the right spot <laughs> type of thing? The blush is a beautiful color and the lip combo, the lip combo is to die for. This is like my favorite type of lip combination right here. I love it. So what can I say? I love everything to be completely honest. Let me pull out a couple of my Natasha Denona palettes that I want to compare this one to so that we can see if it's different enough from her previous releases, which personally just looking at it, I think it is. But let me just go ahead and grab them. The main palette you wanted me to compare this one to was the retro palette, which I have up here. I honestly never saw that much of a resemblance between the two because the Retro palette is not one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes and this one since the moment I saw it I just loved the richness of it and I loved that it has a little bit more warmth. This Retro one is a little bit too cool tone for me. I feel a little bit washed out sometimes when I wear it, not my favorite. It doesn't have the depth that I want it to have. Very monochromatic. This one has a little bit more variety to it. I don't know, I feel like now that I'm seeing them next to one another, they do look a little bit more similar than they looked in my head. 
um, but still I much prefer the new one and I can tell you that right away because again I was never the biggest fan of the retro palette let's do some swatch comparisons and see how these two compare okay take a look right here at the top I have the my dream palette and at the bottom I have the retro swatches that I could find that were kind of similar but to be honest I feel like none of them really are exactly the same they have quite the difference in undertone but those are the ones that I could find that maybe would be similar to the ones in the new palettes. Another palette that came to mind because it has a few burgundies and stuff is the Love palette from Natasha. Also not one of my favorites and honestly looking at it side by side maybe there's a couple of shades that are similar like this shade transparent with babies or commitment because it's a really dark burgundy shade with edgy but besides that or oh, maybe like a pink to this one but this is a multi-chrome so it's really not the same so besides that nothing else is too similar in these two so i'm not even going to bother with the swatches and then a few of you also asked for a comparison with the glam palette and with this one also there is very few colors like if you cover these, maybe like the nudie shades, transition-y type shades might be similar, but not much else, to be honest, especially because like these here are all very warm. Honestly, very few shades are similar in between these two. Here's me trying, but honestly, even these are a stretch. I don't really feel like these palettes are very similar at all. The one shade that I'm sure is very similar to something else I have in my collection is this one right here, the Trio Chrome shade. I'm going to swatch it back here. And I have the Trio Chrome palette from Natasha Denona here, and it's very similar to this shade. So I wanted to compare them side by side, although this is interesting because in my finger, you can clearly see that this one has a whole different undertone. It's a lot more purple, less pink. But still, let's see on the skin. Take a look right there. They both have a similar greenish undertone to them, but they do look different-ish. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that much of a difference once you have it on the eyes, to be honest. But the one in the Trio Chrome palette does look a lot more purple. I wanted to do one more comparison and it is with the blush right here. This blush reminds me a lot to the blush in the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eyes palette, the lightest one of the two. I'm going to put a picture right here. The blush in that palette is very similar to this one. There might be a slight undertone difference maybe, but not much. So if Maybe you were wanting to get this palette just because the blush is pretty or whatever and you have that one already, I don't think you need it. So let me give you my final thoughts. Like I've been saying throughout the video, I love everything I recommend it. And besides the lip products, the palette and the chic palette are both different enough from things Natasha has launched in the past to justify grabbing them. I do love that she made this in a $65 midi size palette because that way a lot more people can enjoy Natasha's formula like I said this is my favorite size of palette that Natasha makes and you guys if you've watched my channel for a while you know that this right here is my vibe I love these types of shades so of course I'm going to recommend this palette I'm very excited for it and I think it's probably going to become one of my all-time favorite Natasha Denona palettes. I still love the gold palette the best, don't get me wrong, that one is very spectacular. But this might just be a close second. I don't know, maybe we should do a revised ranking videos at some point. Highly recommended. If you're going to shop for it, please check out the links down in the description box of the video. I can't wait to come back with a five looks one palette for you. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts down in the comment section of this video. So please let me know what you think down there. And that is all I have. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.